Sorry about my last review on the Sony camcorder. I know it seemed like an impersonal pitch, but um, I'll try and do better this time. I have bought the Sony HC7. I bought it two weeks ago, and I'm loving it so far. Not only is it like a really sexy camera, but um, it's a high definition camera. It's my first high definition camera, and I am going to be the greatest filmmaker or the, or the greatest editor ever so you know this is like pretty much my first pro camcorder that's what I consider it to be um, one of the reasons why I waited for this camera to come out was because at first I was gonna get the HC7 or no I'm sorry at first I was gonna get the HC3 but I decided to wait for the HC7 because it has the headphone jack and it also has an additional external mic jack so these two features really make it to me a pro camcorder um, but it's a it's a great camcorder full 1080i it shoots uh, 6.1 megapixel stills uh, the quality the resolution is awesome I, I noticed the difference immediately from my standard SD camcorder uh, when you look at this screen, it, it truly just looks amazing. I mean, the resolution, you can just see in the actual touch screen, which is awesome. Uh, great, you know, I like Sony camcorders because they have touch screens. Uh, although, you might want to buy a, a uh, screen cover to kind of protect your screen. Um, I realized that real quickly that you can easily get stuff on your hands and put it on your screen and you definitely want that so that's definitely a drawback. One of the cool things is it has this swivel right here where I can manually uh, control the focus so that's pretty awesome because uh, instead of having to uh, touch like a button multiple times like I did on the other camcorder, the regular SD camcorder I had. Uh, here you can just kind of rotate it and it's pretty cool. Um, so it has all kinds of different outputs. Um, one of the cool things, I don't know if Sony does this with all their camcorders, but it came with all these out cables. I mean, all these video out cables. I'm not, I don't even use these, but I use, uh, I use, uh, uh, what do you call it? I use FireWire. <laughs> Forgot for a second. I use FireWire to uh, uh, import my uh, footage straight onto my iMac. So um, it's a pretty awesome camcorder. It uh, can take still pictures, I think, at the same time while you're recording. Um, uh, oh, another cool thing about this camera is it has the zoom features and the uh, record button on the screen so you can actually hold the camera like this and control your zoom and it zooms pretty pretty periodically so it's a great feature just in case you know you're not too smooth with your zooming um, oh cool thing about this camera is it has the battery that's real deep so it stays out of the way when you use the eye awesome feature although one of the drawbacks is this eye does not move up or down so that's definitely a drawback. Um, one of the cool things is it has a flash that's hidden right here. So it's pretty cool. Um, oh, and it has night shot. I thought that was awesome. It's pretty awesome. So again, um, I think the best thing about this camera is the headphone jack. So, or the headphone jack and the uh, external mic jack. I'm hoping to get one of those uh, wireless mics and hook it up to here, see how that works out. So I can do like interviews and stuff with that. And uh, the headphones works with, the headphone jack works with any of your headphones. So it's pretty cool. You can hear all the audio. I can hear myself talking right now. And you can do sound checks before you start recording and while you're recording so that you know exactly the type of audio quality you're getting. So that's a great feature. Um, other than that, it's a pretty simple camcorder. Easy to record. It requires
records in high definition, uh, the size of the, the memory it takes is exactly the same as, I think it's a little bit more, but not, not noticeably. Um, it's pretty much exactly the same as if you imported in, uh, if you imported footage on your regular off of your regular SD camcorder. So it's pretty cool. Definitely no drawbacks. Um, although one of the things I have noticed is that it takes a lot longer to render your footage, which uh, is not very good if your computer is slow. I need to upgrade my RAM so that I can, uh, you know, render this image faster. I'll render this footage a lot faster. But, you know, it's a pretty cool camera. It looks really nice, really sexy. Um, I think it's sexy. It uh, has an automatic uh, uh, lens cover, so that's pretty cool. You turn off the camera. There's some other cool features I already talked about in my other film, uh, infrared stuff, but uh, that's about it. Other than that, oh, and it has this shoe, which is pretty cool. You can put some external stuff on there, like a, a mic or, you know, whatever you want to put on there, uh, and it gives you full connection to the camera recorder. So uh, that's about it. It's a pretty cool camera, has all kinds of... Uh, audio video outs it has the HDMI output which is cool you can hook it straight up to your HDTV and that's about it so I'm Aaron Robinson and this is the Sony HC7 great camcorder but before you buy it I would make sure uh, that you uh, upgrade your RAM so that you don't have to wait a long time to render your footage unless you're going to just hook it up to your HDTV. If so, great buy. It cost me $1,500, so it's kind of expensive, but I think it's definitely worth it. Full 1080i, the Sony HC7. Great buy.